Hello everyone, Mrs. Keitel here. Um, today I am starting a printmaking project and this is an example that I'm going to share with my classes as we get into printmaking. There's a couple ways that we've done printmaking in the past. We've used foam and different tools to push into that foam to then roll our ink and print. But what we're going to be using at the junior high level a little more advanced is going to be some rubber. Um, this is similar to like a linoleum, but it's very, very soft. So it's kind of like um, an eraser type of a texture and feel also with how malleable it is. And then we're going to be using some pretty simple, pretty standard speedball cutting um, tools. These oftentimes, like all of them pretty much, pop open on the top. And this is where you can keep additional metal tips. Um, so we have quite a few of these in the art room and we can switch around what tip we need based on the kinds of lines that we're wanting to make. Now, when we get into printmaking, it's really important to remember that everywhere where we would be removing um, and then printing with this, every, every spot that we would be carving into is going to be white on our paper. So it's going to have that kind of opposite effect. If we want to have bold, dark lines or bold color with our printing ink, then we're not going to want to take away where that color would be. Now I'm going to be making a stamp to put on some rubrics when we're grading. I've just used a pen to draw out on this. We could use a pencil, and I'm now seeing that I want nice to be as big across as possible. So I'm gonna switch things up here, and that's okay. We all know that we change our minds as we go, but my goal is going to be that my words will be carved out, and then when I would roll my ink, I would have this really nice stamp. Now, a couple important things about these tools. We never want to use them facing ourselves. They're still sharp tools. They're metal with a blade and sharpened tip on the end. That's so that they can easily glide through and carve into our rubber or our linoleum. Now, when you get started, remember, like I just said, we're working away from ourselves. We don't want to face ourselves. So we'll get a good support, we'll get a good hold, and we'll start to work away at those spots where we want to have that blank space in our print. I'm currently using one of the smallest blades here. It has a V point. We also have rounded tools and we also have tools that are squared off. But when you are working with this form of printmaking, it's extremely important that we take our time, that we go slow, and as we pro progress through this, we'll also have the opportunity to do some testing. The beauty of printmaking is we have this ability to replicate and make prints many, many times. So as we're carving and getting our letters squared away, we can also do test prints, which we also will refer to as artist proofs. And these are tests just to see how our carving's going, how our design is coming along, and it helps to decide when adjustments need to be made, when you see if some lines possibly aren't thick enough and they need another run through with your carving tool. You might also find areas that you want to um, add a little texture or add a little design. But our goal in the beginning here is to get a sketch out of what we want on our rubber or linoleum, and then use our tool to get that first pass. All right, folks, enjoy working with our new supplies and printmaking.